Continuing on from the previous training video, the problem I was running into when I wanted to look up the contact for a company here, like let's do Mirror Lake Sports. When I clicked on the contact button that ran the macro to open up the contact form, it took me to the first record in that form. It wouldn't match the customer number here with the one in there, so I can go right to it and find out who the contact is for Mirror Lake Sports. So click on it. It doesn't take me to number 20, so I had to navigate until I find it, and there it is. It's Marsha Benson. So what I want to do is I want to modify the macro that's been assigned to the button here to include a where condition, where it compares the record in the current form and finds its matching record in the second form. What is it going to be comparing? The customer number field in this form to the customer number field in the contact form. So when they match up, well, it'll pull me right to that, and I won't have to navigate. To do this, we can edit the macro one of two ways. You can either come over here, since it's right there, and right-click on it, and go right to the design view, or let me close out. If you have a lot of macros and you don't want to scroll through to find it, or the navigation pane's hidden, you can, of course, right click in a blank area on your form, go to the design view, and bring up the property sheet for the button here. And so, if you don't see the property sheet, then double click on the border of the button really fast and go to the event tab where the on click, the macro here. With the My Contact macro, let's go ahead and click on its Build button, and it opens up the macro here as well. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead where it says Open the Form, to not just only open the form, but let's click in the Where condition here. And you can see when I hover over it, it pops open, explains what the field is for, and gives you an example. But let me go ahead and copy and paste my expression in here, and I'll explain it. And there it is, the customer number. So the customer number has to equal the customer number. But the way it's written is the customer number in the form that we're opening up, that's what this represents, has to go back and match the customer number that we're coming from, or the form that we're coming from, that customer number field there. So the customer number equals, and then because it has to go backward to the form that we just came from, we have to write it that says, okay, go ahead and look in one of the objects. What is the object? It's a form. And then you got the operator, exclamation point. And then the form that you're looking for, or that we want the macro to look for, is the form customer info, the form that we're coming from that has the button that we click on it. Because in that form, there's the operator, another exclamation point, we have the customer number field. And you can see we got square brackets to separate how we're writing expression, the path to the customer number field. So it's got to be a form, and it's got to be the customer number form, and it's got to be the customer number in that form, to where that has got to match what we're opening up into. Now, when it comes to writing your expressions, if you don't get enough space here, you can't right-click on it to zoom in. But if you remember the shortcut keys, Shift F2, that will open up the zoom window and you get more room. So let's go ahead and click Cancel and save this. And let's close out of the macro and right-click on the tab, go to the form view, and take it for a test drive. So let's go ahead and go over one more, like let's do customer number 25, click on contact, and oh my goodness, isn't that just breathtaking? That's great. Now go ahead and try it yourself, open up the corresponding exercise, and see if you can remember how to write the expression, and then if it works and it matches, you're on the right track. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.